This is our Forex blog video for March 10th, 2017. And I like to start with the stats. I do these stats the same way each week and I have done so for years so you can compare them over time. Each day I'll fix some of the patterns that obviously had losing trades um, and didn't have good stats for the past. I'll add new rules uh, looking at all the database full of the over 25,000 past trades, finding that particular pattern and fixing those. So obviously those don't show up in this uh, stats here, I mean, uh, because I removed them. Also, I add new patterns each day, which obviously would not have shown up live. So at, rather than keep multiple sets of stats, that's why I do that. So here's uh, Fridays, and Friday I fixed a lot of patterns. Um, there's 53 left, uh, 541 pips. The losers average 5.5 pips, and the wins, there's a couple big ones, there are 16 pips, so three times bigger wins than loss. Here's Thursday, a lot of trades, 731 pips, one of the best days we've had in months. Um, the wins are 20 pips, and the losses, quite a few of them, uh, are 6.2. Here's Wednesday, 396 pips. The wins are 19 pips, so very, very big average win, and the losses are 7.5. But still two, about two and a half times bigger wins than losses. Here's Tuesday, a lot of trades, uh, 327 pips. The wins uh, average 13. The losses are 6.7, so about two times bigger wins than losses. And here's uh, Sunday, Monday, 383 pips, 39 trades. Average wins 14, average loss is only 5. So now I'll show you some of the trades. Uh, here's a Euro Yen, you can see nice uh, trade here, 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 a little loss, another loss, 15, 20 pips here. Huge uh, day the day before. And you can see it trades with the trend and counter trend. And there's a lot of different methods inside our uh, tools, including FIB targets. You can see this reached the, the 1.27 FIB target. Um, a lot of our methods uh, look for FIB targets in order to get into trades. You can see this trade right here is probably a FIB target. The trend was up, a two-wave pullback. That was one of my favorite patterns that I used to trade with and I also taught in our classes when I did those years ago. Here's a Euro dollar, nice win. Pretty much break even, win, win. Previous day, nice win, small break even or loss there. Win, 15 pip win, five, six pip loss. Now this this was an exceptional week as far as the trades go. Here this one pretty much ended up break even at the end. This one got in long right here and got out, but probably only made five to eight pips on that one. This one only made about five to eight pips. But, you know, they're better than losses. Here it's in, out here, lost about seven. In here, out, uh, made about 15 to 20. And sometimes, you know, you unfortunately you get into a trade and it immediately gets out and you have a loss. Uh, here it has a loss and then you have a small win, a loss. And it's unfortunate that that hit here because it would have stayed in this for another 25 pips. Sometimes that's going to happen. But you can see a nice big win here. Uh, pretty much a small loss here, loss, loss. Sometimes you have a couple losses in a row. Uh, here's the dollar yen. A loss up here. Now some, some trades like this, even though it looks like it's up a lot, this pattern works really well in the past, so I left it in there. Otherwise, I would normally fix something like this. Normally, once the market's up so much, I usually expect a, a pullback, I mean a reversal, and I'd be more apt to want to sell up here. But uh, this trade has done extremely well in the past, so uh, under similar circumstances, so I've left it in there. And that's the benefit of keeping all the stats that I do. Here's the dollar CAD. You can see end of the day with a nice small uh, win on that trade, uh, break even there. Found, found the lows for a nice 30 pip win. Trend trade here for about 15 pips. Counter trend trade here made about five. Um, 
made about 30, made about 5 to 8. And there's just so many trades to show. Uh, I'll show one more. Here's some New Zealand yen. Short. Uh, made a small profit on here. Huge. It looks like a, a bunch of wins uh, inning that previous day. Pretty much every single trade was a win. Win, 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 win. And huge, huge wins too. So that's it for this week's blog video. Uh, just uh, I like to update these once a week just to show you the progress of how the trading system's progressing. I'm extremely happy with it. Um, it's getting better every, every week. I've probably fixed about 100 uh, patterns this week and added probably 20 or 25, uh, yeah, 25 new ones. Um, so there's well over 5,000 trading patterns that it looks for on every single bar. I keep dramatic stats of each one and uh, about 75 different variables for each uh, trade that hits so I can compare them in the future uh, and see what's different in, in, let's say it loses today, what's different in today's pattern than the past and I can compare those va va uh, variables and, and very easily and quickly fix them.